What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right, guys, we are now into the Sunday, the weekend. Oh my God, family time. So I don't have much time to make content, but I did, I did get a little bit of good news today. I had ten tickets left, uh, and I was gonna be like, you know what? Let's just save them for the draw. When when Cha comes out, maybe something brand new. Is like, you know what? Screw it. No, I still need a copy of the dagger. And lo and behold, I did my ten. By the way, I have not spent any more money since the 2.4K, so everyone's aware of where I'm at, because uh, I promised you guys I'd update you guys. I did get a copy finally. I got a copy of the Moon Shadow, so uh, I'll be doing a little bit of testing on this myself once I get it up high enough, and we'll see how it stacks up against some of the other weapons. Now, the issue is, of course, I don't have very many weapons to compare it to, because most of my weapons are already maxed, but I am curious to see how it does from A1 or A0 all the way to A5 eventually when I get it to that point, right? So we'll do a little bit of testing. I'll put that in the side pocket, and we'll do a video on that separately. Not what I'm here for the today though we're going to do another hunter video and we're going to focus specifically on uh lee bora or bora lee as i like to call her all the time so dark unit and we're going to talk everything she's about what she's good how she's good and some of the issues that plague her right now as a unit and i hope it's either a bug or they get fixed okay so first off uh great support good dps unfortunately has a small issue with her mechanics and specifically the fox and we'll talk about it but let's go through her weapon first so this is the solid logic increase to the user's attack by 2.5 percent they got it at a zero obviously target hit by the user's strengthening charm have both the damage they take from the critical hits and their chance of receiving critical damage increased by 2.5 percent now remember this here will still apply because it is a skill this does not get affected by the crit damage bug so this will still actually work all right so keep that in mind when you're doing this now in terms of artifacts Pretty straightforward she scales off of crit damage so you want to give her a crit damage boots uh and want to give her as much uh crit rate as possible right because you can see here the recommended stats are attack crit hit crit damage pretty straightforward there so you build her with toughness and again this eight percent currently will apply on top of her her existing uh crit rate crit rate is not broken by the way that still works it's the crit hit damage that's broken but the 32 percent here will still apply to her damage no matter what you do and how you take it right so let's just go ahead and click on view details if you look overall she's got uh uh, only 16% crit here, 139.65 crit damage. So this needs to be upped. You want as much crit hit crit hit rate on these as possible, right? You guys can see here, most of my gear does not have that, which is obviously an issue in itself, but she does have pretty decent crit hit damage, but you gotta, we gotta raise that up. Uh, it's mostly because my, my gear here just isn't, isn't spec properly. All my crit hit damage gear is over on my main character which is Janu, right? So that's something I definitely got to work on. I 100% have to fix that. And also um, Beast is nice for her because of the amount of times she does crit, but my crit is low. So you want to probably go Berserk. So I want to go all, all Berserk for her or Executioner, whichever one you want to go with. Currently I have um, two Executioners on her and two Beasts. Again, not optimal by any means, shape or form. So uh, you ideally want to go with the Skeleton if she's going to take hits. If you plan to take a hit to to, to do thirty percent more damage, or you want to go for the behemoth necklace, which is the the, the executioner one, right? So either or of those will work. Uh, but beast I find is great for her specifically if her crit hit damage is high. I had her built really high, but right now I don't have her built that way. So I mean we can just do this for now, just to kind of show you guys how it works. But here, let's go ahead and put this on her. Um, where is the next one? Here. Yep, perfect. Okay, now again, crit hit damage is not working. We know this, right? So obviously it's not gonna spec real well for her. Uh, so that in itself is a problem. Keep that in mind when we're doing this testing. You're not gonna see her full potential at all. All right, let's go to her skills now. Now, basic dark emission skill, pretty high damage actually for level four. She does stage one, stage two, and three up to 207%. You guys can see the previews here. She just pretty much throws her little wand around and does some damage there. Uh, there's This is her uh, core skill, tracking charm. Now this one here actually does put a, the charm effect on the opponent which is nice because you'll do 15 percent more damage on the opponent her basic skills there's a, a strength strengthening charm and what what this does is actually enhances dark elemental damage for 10 seconds in the circle so anyone who's a dark element will do more damage there also removes any debuffs in that area as well too so that's always fantastic it also increases the magic arrow damage of the foxes she summons uh, by 20 percent whenever and changes to penetrating attack okay and these are the foxes here so she summons uh, phantom foxes there's normally two when you get her a up she'll summon three instead so magic uh they do magic arrow damage 297.5 percent of attack and they last for 12 seconds and they are dark elemental as well too so you'll see some dark damage come in if the opponent is weak to dark uh, her qte is actually really nice when this skill hits it removes debuff zones in the area and also increases damage taken taken by 15 percent on the opponent using the charm effect 
uh, Tempest. She just comes in, does this. This is actually great because it's an AoE and it vacuums people into the center and then also does the charm effect on them as well too. So great QTE to come in with. Uh, this is actually a hard hitting move. Uh, Meg essentially she just summons a giant, couple giant foxes to attack. All dark elemental do knock down as well too. At this level is 3,467%. Some people were asking me how are my, my, my support skills are level 11. It's when you advance characters up. That's how this goes up by itself. Okay. And then the passives here is a, here's the following. Okay. So when track and charm, Tempest are quick attack hit the opponent they'll do the charm effect the 15 percent on the target uh, so the skill one summons one extra fox instead of two so the damage of each fox is also increased by 50 percent. so that goes up increases the user's critical hit and critical hit damage by six percent the effect of strengthening charm change can be used up to two times instead of one and that is uh this move right there okay so that's the dark circles uh sorry let me go back here skills um and then uh, decreases the cooldown of Dark Charm Meg. This is the, the ultimate. And then the basic damage of all small megs of Dark Charm Meg increased by 75%. Okay, so... Uh, so that's that's an important one. So keep that in mind. So altogether, she isn't working as intended. So you're not going to see her full potential right now because crit damage is broken and I don't have the best gear. But I do want to show you guys what she's all about and how she works and how you want to use her in some of these game modes. Now, I could, of course... Um, I could, of course, remove some of the gear from Jinu and give it to her, but we won't do that today. Just because I know it's, it's going to cost an arm and a leg, and I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm running off of a gold or anything, but I do want to save up a little bit because I, I know other things are coming down the pipe, like gems and stuff, and that's going to end up killing my gold. So let's go ahead and form the team. We'll do our usual test now. Keep in mind, I'm at 109, 371 versus 153. What I'll do just to make up for that is I'll, I'll do this here. So we'll put her in the blue and that way we can see some proper testing for her. Uh, we do want to give her as much crit as possible. So Igris will go and play. Uh, we'll do blades and that. And then you guys can now see the damage she does overall by herself. Now we've done testing for her in the past, um, but it wasn't a proper test. Cause again, she wasn't geared properly. Uh, she wasn't set up properly. And she was also in the red. Now that we know how that all that works, we're going to do this. We're going to redo all these tests anyways, guys. Okay. I just want to show you guys how to use her essentially. Okay. So first off, dark circles. Make sure you put those down. Here's the foxes. Now these foxes will do pretty decent damage in those dark circles, right? As long as they're in there, that, that's all that matters. I guess you can see the charm effect is on there now, right? So that you want to keep on there as much as possible. Now, one flaw, and I'm going to tell you guys honestly, people don't know this is that her foxes don't get advantage of her crit rate, okay? So even if you had maximum crit rate, the foxes have only 5% base crit. They do not scale off of her crit at all in any way, shape, or form. So your foxes will only crit at 5%, and I think it's a major drawback to having these. There's two again. See, that should have been three there. And that is a bug also, right? They've talked about that should be three foxes, not two. So that there is a couple of bugs with her that are obviously issues, and they need to really, really fix that, especially right before... Um, global comes out because she can be a, a major hitter if they do it properly right because right now at the moment with the way things are working she's bugged in a couple of places here she, again she summons two sometimes versus three they've already identified that but again her fox is not scaling off of her crit is a pretty major problem i have to say and that's going to be uh, one of those things that is going to be a drawback for her because she's she depends so much on the foxes for damage Right? Especially with these dark circles. Now, of course, as a support, though, she's excellent for dark units. You definitely want to pair her with as many dark units as you possibly can. So Lim, uh, SM Beck, etc. Those guys are all going to be excellent dark units to have with her because she's going to just maximize their damage output fairly, fairly drastically. Um, so make sure you guys do have her on there. So you guys can see here again. Uh, running out of MP obviously is a problem, but you do want to have those foxes up with her as much as possible. And also, don't do her alt unless you're in the dark circle yourself, so you take advantage of the dark damage that this does. Now, this is not going to obviously affect the damage here because dark damage isn't going to affect this bear, but for any time you fight any opponent that has dark damage weakness, she's a key component of any team that is a dark team, okay? So keep that in mind. Again, you guys can see the charm right above the bear. You can actually see the the, the, the charm itself running around with it. I think that's kind of cool. It's a cool little feature. I actually never even noticed that, to be honest with you. I've only noticed it on the bear's like icon, right? So you guys can see here, I ran out of mana. Foxes aren't coming out. That's a problem. So this is where it obviously matters when you bring in teammates. Doing a solo trial run, you guys are just kind of seeing her damage overall and how she works. But... You can tell from this, I'm barely even critting, right? But even at 15%, it's not happening too much. And the fact is, like, look, the, da the crit damage is just not scaling high anyways. It's 50% more crit damage. So, I mean, if you built her with a lot of crit damage and crit, you should see way more damage coming out of her. 
Uh, that's how it's supposed to work. But unfortunately, with crit damage being broken, you will not see her full potential. But I did want to talk about her 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 like powers of charm. Charm, I think, is very important. Now, Min is great. Uh, so Min is awesome for buffing characters, but she is specifically built to buff and debuff opponents. And that debuff zone is really nice as well, too. Not to mention, dark units are mostly going to benefit from her more than anything else, right? So you guys can see here, I did much better than the first test run we did. Uh, but I honestly feel like we could probably take this bear down to like 15, 15 ish, if we did it correctly with proper crit gear. So there you guys have it. That's the that's the showcase I want to show you. So again, Lee Boro is broken right now, just like everybody else. Crit damage is not working, but at the same time, you still can optimize her for dark teams. Definitely put her for dark teams. She has a great QTE. She has an awesome skill support skill, and her charm skill is fantastic. And again, having those dark circles in for dark teams will amplify your damage especially when you're doing the dragon fights with dark element weakness those weeks are amazing for her she completely destroys those so definitely use her guys as a support for now but i think once crit damage is fixed we're going to see a pretty big turnaround on her as a main dps hunter uh especially because of the amount of crit she does and the crit damage and as soon as they fix the fox fix the foxes they'll be doing more damage now i just hope they also fix the crit rate scaling with those foxes they should be f scaling off of her crit i've tested it they don't unfortunately i think nato also tested it not when i asked her to and she she had she also said they don't scale off of it so i think a lot of a lot of uh, content creators have noticed that all right guys the pain hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care